Hi everyone, this is Joel Kennedy with Kennedy Violins. Now, today's video is just a really short video on how to rosin your bow. Now, I've done videos about how to rosin your bow before, but today's just a really even shorter video, and I'm just gonna hit a couple key points if you just wanna know like the fast and easy way to rosin your bow. Okay, so first of all, make sure your bow is tight. You can't really put rosin on your bow when your bow is loose. So get that screw and turn it clockwise, right, until the hair is about a, about a pinky, you know, distance from the wood of the bow, and you're ready to go. Now, if your rosin is brand new, right, this cake right here is pretty new, it's pretty shiny. Um, a new cake of rosin does not want to go on the hair of your bow very well, especially if your bow is new, if it has new hair and doesn't have rosin on it. So an easy little trick is just, you know, get a fork. I mean, of course you can use other things, but you just get a fork and you just scratch the surface of the rosin, just scratch it a little bit. You can go in kind of like little circular motions and it sounds like fingers on a chalkboard. It's uh, quite wonderful. So anyhow, once you do that, you see how it scratches the surface up? Yeah, so now that rosin is gonna be a lot easier to go on the bow. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna get the rosin and you're gonna, you're gonna apply firm, constant pressure and you're just going to go from one end of the bow to the other. That's all you're going to do. It's not, uh, not rocket science, really. But here's the thing that you have to remember. When you go to orchestra, if let's say you go to orchestra class or you watch other people rosin their bow, you'll see them do this. They'll go really fast at the tip and they go really fast at the frog, right? They go, and they, they, they got into the habit. I was, when I was a kid, I did that too. It's a really bad habit and it actually is counter, it's, it's counterproductive. So the reason why people speed it up at the tip is because it never seems like they have enough rosin at the tip of their bow or at their frog. Well, little do they know, when they're speeding up that bow like this, they're actually heating the rosin up, which makes the rosin not want to adhere to the bow. So they're actually creating the problem that they're trying to solve. So many years ago, you know, I, I talked to a bow expert who's a guy who's a very internationally famous guy who made, you know, world-class bows. And he, he corrected me. And ever since then, I was like in high school, I've, I've just rosin the bow just like this. And you know what? I've never had any problems. I've never had any issues with there not being enough rosin at the tip and, and, and uh, not enough rosin at the frog. So don't get into the habit. And if you see people doing this, they're speeding it up at the tip, just tell them, hey, you're melting your rosin, you're making it so it doesn't go on your bow. If you just do this enough times, you'll never have any issue and you'll have nice, consistent application of rosin on your bow. So the last thing that I'll mention today is how do you know how much rosin to put on your bow, right? That's a pretty good question. Oh, but before I get into that, just don't forget to subscribe um, because I'm making a lot of videos these days. So if you like the content, if it's helpful to you, then, you know, that'll be nice to get that notification. So going on to the other thing that I wanted to mention. How do you know how much rosin to put on your bow? Well, the first thing that you have to remember is the more rosin you put on your bow, the stickier it gets. So when it's sticky, that does two things. Number one, it makes it easier for you to produce a sound on your instrument, right? The bow hair is stickier, it pulls your string more, creates more sound, so it makes your violin easier to play. But the downside to it is it makes your bow more prone to produce a scratchy sound. Right, so kind of a, yeah, not a very warm sound or whatever, right? So it's a compromise, right? Everything with the violin is hard and everything is a compromise. So eventually you will learn with your bow and rosin combination and how long you've played, how much rosin to put on. But as a general rule, if your bow is already rosin, but it needs a little bit for an hour of practice, you probably just go up and down, you know, that rosin, you know, maybe seven to 10 times. And that'll probably be plenty, you know, but if your bow is new, and it needs a lot of rosin on it, well, you might have to go up and down it 20 or 30 times or more and then play for five or 10 minutes and then do it again, you know? So it really kind of depends on your situation. But I'd say as a general rule, depending how sticky your rosin is, probably seven to 10 times. So guys, that's it for today. It's just a quick video. Hopefully it was uh, helpful to you. And don't forget, here at Kennedy Violins, you know, we're all players and teachers. We're all, we're all here to, you know, answer any kind of questions you guys got. So don't forget to contact us if you have any questions about anything. Without, I bid you do.